In this video, I'm going to do some examples on probability from tables. Okay, so let's read the question. A random group, a random group of people were asked what the takeaway outlet of preference was. The responses were summarized in the table below. So let's read the table. So we got male and female, and you got the takeaways, McDonald's, KFC, pizza, and so on. So how do you read the table? There were 80 males who preferred McDonald's. Okay, or uh, the 60, how do you read the 60? There were 60 females who preferred KFC. Or uh, this, suppose, let us say 160. 160 is the total of the people, male and female, who uh, preferred Subway. So 80 plus 75 is 155 and so on. And so this is 640 for the total. There were 645 people, out of which there were 315 males and 330 females. So that's how you read the table. So now let's, re let's read the question. Estimate the probability that a person prefers McDonald's. So, uh, the probability that a person prefers McDonald's is, so first you have to look under McDonald's. Okay, so there were how many people who prefer McDonald's? 155. Out of how much? 645. So the probability that, that a person, uh, a random person, would prefer McDonald is 155 out of 615 just like that 615 okay so let us use a calculator and write this as a decimal so run so it's 155 divided by 645 am I right yes yeah. 155 divided by 645 equal 0 0.24 so in decimals this is 0 0.24 in 2 dp that's the answer that's it okay estimate the next question is estimate the probability that a randomly selected girl prefers burger so here th there are two information it's a girl so this is a person okay so here you're taking the total of McDonald over the total number of people here you need to read the questions quite clearly because it's girl preferring burger okay so let's look at burger let us look at go to the column of burger so there are how many females okay so for burger you have 45 males and 55 females so it's a girl or a female preferring burger so this is the girl or a female preferring burger so what's the probability of this of a girl preferring uh, burger is 55 out of 330 because you've got total females is 330 so the answer would be 55 out of 330 I'll repeat because it's the girl or it should be female here yeah? they should have not written girl here yeah? so let's change this to female okay a girl is a female of course so this is a female so there are 55 female who like burger and the question is estimate the probability that a randomly selected female prefers burger so 55 out of 330 okay if five, 1500 people have takeaways on a selected night how many would you expect to choose KFC now what we're doing is we're using this table or this information of 645 people to make a prediction about 1500 people so we'll come to that later so let's read the question how many would you choose prefer KFC okay how many prefer KFC so let's go to the KFC so there are 115 out of 645 who prefer 
KFC. So if you want, so this 115 out of 645, this is out of 1 because the total probability of any event, if you add all these probabilities, it will be 1. I hope you understand this is out of 1. This is out of 1. So if out of 1, whatever this number is, so the question is, if this is out of 1, out of 1500 would be this out of 1 times 1500. So it will be 1500 times 115 over 645. So get your calculators out. Let me move this to this side. So cancel 115 divided by 645 times 1500. Or you can go any other way around. doesn't matter. So uh, the answer is 267.4. So you can say 267 or 268. It doesn't matter. You can round this. You cannot have, you have 267.4. So if you want to make a sensible number, this you can say 267 or 268, both are right. So I would say it is 267 or 268 people. I hope you understand. This is out of 1 and we want to answer out of 1500. Okay. One more question. <clears throat> Given a person is a male, okay, this is very crucial. Given a person is a male, okay, that's given. Estimate the probability that they prefer McDonald's or burger. So let us look at male. So there are 80 male who prefer McDonald's and 45 who prefer Burger King. And there are total 115 males. So it will be or means you have to add them. So this is this out of 315. So let me write that. So this would be 80 out of 315. This is for what is 80? 80 was for McDonald's. And plus or means plus 45 out of 315. So the denominators are same, that is 80 plus 45 out of 315. So which is 125 out of 315. So get the calculator out, which is 125 divided by 315. That is 3 point. Uh, how did it get? Oh, sorry. You can't have a 3 point number. <laughs> probability has to be less than 1, so divided by 315 is 0 point, uh, 0 0.39, uh, which is all, uh, if you round up, or if you round it to the 2 dp, it's 0 0.40. So I'll change the color now. This is 0 0.40 in 2 dp, or two decimal places. Okay. Okay, finally, the last question. Estimate the probability that 2 randomly selected people from the group would choose KFC as their outlet. Now this is a tricky question. They are telling us that <clears throat> you're going to randomly select two people, one after the other. Okay, so this is one thing that you should, it's not given, it's one after. So you think one person at a time. So what's the probability of a person selecting KFC? Okay is 115 out of 645 for the first person so you can say for the first person the probability would be 115 out of 615 and for the second person the probability would change slightly okay so once this person has been selected you've got how many how many people left now you have got uh, one 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 uh, oh this was KFC sorry I should have written this sorry this is one one five KFC 
not 155. Yeah, 115. I don't know. I, my brain was. Yeah, 115. So this is 115. This is KFC. So for the first person to uh, prefer KFC is 115 out of 645. 645. My brain is not working. 645. And for the second person, the situation will change. You have got only 114 people out of 644 people because one person has gone. So this will become, if one person has gone, this will become 114. And so this will also become less, which is 644. So for the second person, the probability will be 114 out of 644. Okay, so for two persons, you have to multiply the probability. So the answer would be, so let me write probability of two randomly selected people to prefer or to choose KFC would be the probability of the first person times the probability of the second person. So it's 115 out of 645 times. Now here, why we have to times it is because these two are not dependent on each other. So these are called mutually exclusive event. This, this is not this is, uh, though the number of people have, though the number of people have gone down, who the person is selected is not affected by the previous event, okay, or their mutually exclusive event, okay. So this is 114 out of 644. This is, this will become 644 out of 644. So this is nothing but 115 times 114 divided by 645 times 644. So let us use the calculator. Calculator. So I'll put this in bracket. 115 times 114 divided by 645 times 644 which is 0 0.032, rounding it to three decimal places, or uh, if you want, okay, 0 0.032, so let me change color, this is 0 0.032 in 3 dp. Now if you want to change this as a percent, this is nothing but 3.2 percent. So the probability of two people, two person, selected one after the other to prefer KFC is 3.2%.